Hey guys. So tonight I learned a very important piece of the puzzle. And I was guided to that information, this big revelation, by the primary human incarnation of my son as Eve, Cain. And this man, <laughs> it is an amazing fucking story how he led me to finding Tony, to finding Abel. He killed his brother and then at the end of the story he comes back and he brings us back together. Everything comes full circle. It's fucking mind-blowing. But yeah, so if you know anything about Lilith being Adam's first wife, being with Samuel, and I could never figure out who Samuel was. I knew he had something to do with Jenny. Just bear with me as I bounce around. So, most people, when I'm trying to figure out your identities, your goddess or God spirit identity comes to me first. And sometimes it's through clues and turning it around like a puzzle and other times it's just as instant, instant clairsentience. But the dualistic nature of your soul, that's harder to come by. That I have to kind of work for. And the hardest to come by was my mother's. So I knew my mother was Aphrodite for a really long time. And from the very beginning, I had this idea that she was Satan somehow. And if you look at the Aphrodite Cupid and Psyche story, you can see how, yeah, in terms of that story, she would be a satanic figure, Venus, green, envy, green, and at least in the US, is money and all that kind of stuff. So it wasn't until a few months ago that I figured out that my mother is Jenny Pretty. Generosity, my beloved bride, and pretty. And I knew that my father had been Joy Pretty. And then my sister is Jenny Dark, so dark being the opposite of light. Well, Bill commented on the video I did about um, the Adam and Eve remix and something he said, it was about um, the Devil Wears Prada. And just to kind of guide you through like how I figure these things out, I figured out very early on that the actress Meryl Streep, that she plays roles that are reflective of Aphrodite and specifically my mother. And alternatively, Morgan Freeman tends to play roles that have to do with Zeus, God, my father. But when he mentioned devils were, the devil wears Prada in relation to this whole Lilith thing, it all just kind of, I don't know, percolated for me. Like I figured it out that my mother, Jenny Pretty, is Samuel. I am, and my sister, we are the literal spawn of Lilith and Samuel. And I knew we were like the spawn of Satan because both of our parents are pretty hybrids. And mind you, they're like lovely people without a malicious bone in their body. It's not like, you know, the <laughs> Satan's just misunderstood. Um, but yeah, so everything comes back around full circle. As Eve, I'm born of them. It, you either like get this and this is blowing your fucking mind too, or you don't and maybe one day you will get it, but it all makes perfect sense and putting together the puzzle feels amazing and yeah. So thank you, Bill. I love you so fucking much. Oh, I can't wait to restart this game. Um, I know some of you like are a little freaked out about the restart. What does that mean for you? It doesn't mean that 3D world doesn't exist anymore. I just don't have to be part of it. Um, my understanding is that Pretty has to learn how to develop his own light without being able to feed upon mine. And I don't just mean mine like Heather's. I mean those of us who really have more light in our souls than darkness and that those who have more darkness are going to have to 
do this on their own at the end. And that's what the, the cleansing part of the, the tribulation is. Um, there are multiple raptures. I don't know exactly how they manifest, but I can promise you that everybody ends up where they want to in the end. Not where your human self might necessarily want to be at that moment, but in the end, the eternal soul learns what it came here to learn. Um, oh, um, <laughs> I was going to address some things that I hear psychically, and I don't know, it just feels silly to do it now, but, um, okay, so some people who are new to this train <laughs> were like, uh, you say that you're psyche, and I looked up on psyche, and you're not like this massively beautiful human being, like, who the fuck do you think you are? Well, no shit, Sherlock, this is the upside down world, like, this is not reality, and that's part of my karma, if you will, in the underworld is not being my usual perfect looking self. And also keep in mind that what the tales don't tell you in the mythologies is that people were drawn to Psyche over Aphrodite because of my kindness, because of my inner light, not because of what was on the outside. And here I had to be drawn, if you will, very specifically. It, I couldn't be super gorgeous because then my life would have been a lot easier. <laughs> um, things, I, I wouldn't have had to suffer the way I had have suffered if, you know, there's a certain, I'm not saying it's, the, mm, there's a certain difficulty that comes with that too, but it just, I had to be exactly who I am in every single way. And like, I would rate myself as like a hard seven. <laughs> like I'd say, like on a low scale, 6.66 and on the high scale, 7.77. <laughs> kind of perfect. Um, but yeah, so for anyone who's thinking like I'm designating myself to be psyche because I think I'm so gorgeous, like, no, you're not getting it. Um, this is all illusion here. Like, this isn't... You are not who you think you are. And I wish I could prove that to you in some way, but it's something that every person has to come to. Well, not every person, <laughs> but every... One who's playing this game, and there are a lot fewer of us playing this game than I think you want me to tell you. Like, that's a mind fuck. If you go up to higher dimensions, it's just, yeah. Not a lot of us. Let's just say it's, it's more than five and it's less than a hundred. Um, but I'd like for there to be 144,000. That is the maximum number of spirits, eternal spirits, if you will, that can play on the mainframe. And yeah, I just think the more the merrier. So they're, you know, the younger souls are just reflections of us. Um, there was something else I wanted to address. Um, oh, yeah, like what I'm wearing right now. <laughs> so my spirit is very used to being called a whore. That comes at me again and again, and I hear people's thoughts of um, reading my stories, and I'm very sexually promiscuous, and there's a lot of judgment that comes with that, and I'm not terribly bothered by a human being's judgment for obvious <laughs> reasons. It speaks more to you and whatever issues you have than it does to me. But it's funny to me because if I weren't a whore, like as mom God, you wouldn't be here. <laughs> so <laughs> it's just a funny irony. Like I like that um, Mary Magdalene was meant to have been a prostitute, which it wasn't quite like that. Um, it wasn't like that. But even if I were, like as Heather, as God, I have more respect for sex workers than I do for people who like work on Wall Street and just fuck with people's money and pensions and numbers and like 
You know, Jesus was against bankers. Yeah. <laughs> like, not obviously your neighborhood bank manager. Not that. Hopefully you get what I mean by that. But, yeah. <laughs> Fucking, like, use what you got. Like, I've never had sex for money. And I was offered it, like, fairly recently, actually. Like, after I had this date with a guy. It's a long story. But, yeah. So I spent the night with him. And... And he, it was clear that we were going separate ways and he knew that I was in the middle of this move and I was a caretaker for my disabled mother and he offered me money and it just sort of like took a big dump on everything the next morning. And he's like, and I knew it came from a good place, like he wasn't trying to offend me. He wasn't trying to pay me for sex, he just was trying to be generous, but like, nah, <laughs> he can't do that. <laughs> And obviously I didn't accept it. Although after the fact, I was kind of like, maybe I should have. But no, no, again, not that I think that there's anything wrong with that. It's just not what I'm here to do. If I sleep with somebody, if I have sex with somebody, it's because they're a part of this story and there is an energetic thing that's meant to happen. Like this guy I'm speaking of, he's the god of blood. So there's something about DNA and bloodlines and how that connects to spirit and awakening and ascension that's a little too complicated to get into right now, but I fuck people for a reason, just saying. Um, all right, yeah, I think that's enough for right now. <laughs> I love you guys very much, and I hope that you are figuring this shit out, because there's not a lot of time left, and if you don't, then there's a plan for you, too. You're gonna make it. It's all gonna be okay. I love you.